What's up guys, it's Stealth here, and we're back in Night Zero Republic. If I'm beginning to sound a little agitated, it's because, well, you haven't seen this, but I've been recording this beginning section where we are exploring the station of Yavin, again, for like the third freaking time now. Because as soon as I want to leave the place and go to a new planet, and you know how those cutscenes play out, well, uh... It keeps shoving me back to the desktop and not proceeding forward, so hopefully I've shut off my computer, I restarted it, I restarted everything. Hopefully it works. Hopefully. What's going on here, my little friend? I think you better leave. Leave. Now. What do you have, my little buddy? Yeah, let's see. Oh, that armor is great. That's really good. Really, really, really good. I don't have nearly enough for it, though. Tell you what, I'm going to come back after my next planet. Again, if it works and he doesn't shove me to the desktop again, I'm going to come back and then I'll buy that from you. Alright? Sounds like a plan. In the meantime, I guess we can upgrade our lightsaber. Because I have some uh, new crystals and stuff I could use. So let's go do that. Right over here, my lightsaber. Let's see. That's mine. I want it purple. This can be... That one's a good one. And I can just place this one there. Okay. We're all... Uh, there we go. Actually, here's something I didn't think of doing. Why don't we go to Tatooine? Because we have that thing for Griff. We have those tack glands he wants. So let's do that. Oh, action time. I never understood what was the purpose of that maneuver at the end. Oh well. Off we go. Everything seems to be working. So I can take that as a good sign, maybe? I don't know. Mission, you get to come with us. And I'll throw HK a bone. Ready! 
Let's give you some skills, buddy. Uh, up your intelligence, just a tad. Because we all know you need it. He's got that. Let's give you toughness. Alright, let's see. Uh, this goes there. Alright, what about you, mission? I think dexterity is what we're gonna do with you. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's everything, right? And this goes up too. Alright, let's go talk to, uh, Griff. Man, this place is still boring and dusty as ever. I really wish I didn't have to come back. There you are. You're back! I knew you'd come through for me! I knew I could count on you! Uh, you do have a tech land for me, right? I have it. Here you go. Come to Papa, you sweet simian organ! It may not look like much, but once I turn this into a bottle of Teresian ale, it'll end up being worth a fortune! Thanks, Mission. You won't regret helping me out with this. Please, Griff, let this be the last time. No more cons, no more scams, no more schemes. That's all I ask. Hey, sis, no need to worry about that. I've turned over a new leaf. From now on, I'm gonna stay out of trouble and do things right. And once we've cornered the market on Theresian Ale, good things will be heading my way. Then I'll make it up to your mission. Just wait, you'll see. You know, once we synthesize this and start brewing Theresian Ale in mass quantities, we're gonna be looking for some investors. You give me a couple of hundred credits, and I can get you in on the ground floor. You'll get a return of, oh, at least 20 times your investment. You already promised me a few thousand. Hey, don't worry, you'll get your credits as soon as we start mass producing that Theresian Ale. I just wanted to know if you were interested in an even bigger payoff. Fine. Here's 200. Wise move. I can see you really understand how business works. Now when you see your chance, you jump in it, huh? That's my motto. I better get started on brewing that ale. Meet me back here later, and I'll have a down payment on what I owe you. Fine. I, I will, I get... HK? Seriously? Whatever. I guess we'll do that, but I'm not... I don't trust the guy. I don't. And there's no reason for me to trust the guy. In fact, Mission, what are your thoughts on this? Hey there. What can I do for you? Can we talk about your brother? I appreciate everything you've done for me. You know that, right? I just hope things work out for him this time around. I guess we'll find out when he meets up with us at the Zerka Corp Shop. If he's got those credits he promised you, then maybe there's hope for him yet. We'll see. Some of a feeling I just got ripped off and I'm not getting my money back. But 200 credits in this game is like nothing. I mean, I guess for like the average citizen it is, but for all the awesome things I need? Not really, no. Okay, we're gonna do something here. Because I am not sure this is still gonna work or not, I'm going to save right as I'm heading to the planet. And if you see a little cut in the scenes, and it probably means that uh, it didn't work and I had to fix some stuff. But... That's just the way it goes.
You felt it, yes? Another vision? The Force continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revan and Malak. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manon is covered by nothing but vast oceans. It looked like it was underwater. The ocean floor is vast, and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkarth. But how could Revan and Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Okay, guys, so it took me like another three tries to get it to work, but finally we're here. Let's hope it paid off. That's all I gotta say. Okay. We're gonna take our Jedi companions with us for this one. But boy, oh boy, did that take forever. You Republic people are so pathetic, sitting around groveling at the table scraps that the Galactic Senators deign to give you. It makes me sick. The Senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha! Don't make me laugh, you gutless simp. It's the destiny of weak-minded fools like you to be ruled over by the strong, like we Sith. I'm warning you. Don't push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. Try it. Just try it. I'd love to see you throw the first punch. And with all the cameras around, the Selkath would be all over you inside of 30 seconds. You break their laws. You pay the price, Republic scum. But I can see that you're not mad enough to back up your words anyway. If you ever feel like relieving yourself of your worthless existence, feel free to come by our enclave here. We have many, many ways to fulfill your wish. Yeah, what are you... Oh, I apologize, Master Jedi. I should not have been rude. It's all right. No, really, I should apologize. I, I should try to control myself, as you Jedi do. Is there anything I can help you with? Well, I'd like to ask a few questions. Well, of course, I'm always willing to help a Jedi. What do you require? Okay, so why don't you tell me about the city? Um, it's big. Real big. Actually, it's pretty much the only real city on the entire world. The only place for us air breathers, anyway. Manan is a water world, which you may have noticed on your way down to land here, inhabited natively by a species of fish people called the Selkath. They built this city to cater to us off-worlders, and as a base of operations to export Kolto, which is the only real thing they have to trade here. So, what's Kolto? <laughs> You're joking, right? I'm sorry, but everyone knows what Kolto is. It's the most powerful healing agent in the galaxy. I would have died several times myself if we didn't have this stuff handy. But the reason it's important here is that Kolto is only found naturally on Manan, and all of our attempts to synthesize it have failed miserably. So, we sit here on the surface, the Selkath harvesting what Kolto bubbles up from the bottom of the ocean, and we buy it from them. Well, us and the Sith, of course. The Selkath don't want to play favorites. So they just stay here, both of us? The Selkath think that by staying neutral, they can play both sides, selling Kolto to everyone that needs it, and making themselves too valuable to be worth conquering. Well, that, and they threaten to destroy the only natural source of Kolto on the planet if anyone tries to attack them. But I think they're underestimating the length the Sith will go to to get what they want. They're probably planning something already. Is there anything else you require? That seems about it. Of course. If you have any other questions, you should probably see Roland Wan. He's the Republic diplomat here. He's by the Republic Enclave, near the Visitor Residences. Oh, if you don't know where that is, go north from here, then south past the Port Official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, then north, then east again. You got that? Have a pleasant stay, Master Jedi. I'm certain I can just recall my, uh, chat log, which is right here. Yeah, I can always use that. Hello. I don't think you have anything that I want. You don't look like an arms merchant. No, those guys are further in. You... Oh, we can speak to him now? Okay. Got something on your mind, dude? Why did you decide to come with me? You got yourself a fast little ship? <laughs> I'd forgotten what engine sounded like. The closest thing to that on Kashyyyk is an uller in mating season. Oh, frightful. So you wanted a ride on my ship? Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket, anyway? Do you never clean the darn thing? Seriously, man, just tell me. I'm old, dammit. I'm allowed to be enigmatic when I want to be. 
And don't you go telling me otherwise. You know, you remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny, all of that. Breath like a panther. Did you and no wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this a comment on my breath? No, but it could be. An Anduvian salt tablet would clear that right up, you know. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Andor Vex was his name. The force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. I'd never heard of him. No, you wouldn't have. Sometimes swirling force is just swirling force. It gets us old Jedi's excited at our age, so we go, ooh, destiny. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. Is there some sort of hidden meaning as this? I don't know. Are you overconfident? I hadn't noticed. Even if I had, I would never comment on it. We're talking about Andor, remember? Let's see. Oh yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. How young are we talking? Well, let's just say that I was a strapping young lad with a full head of hair, and Coruscant was a small town with a well. <laughs> I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians, but at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. Tall fellow, big teeth. Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning, and that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. So, Andor killed Krat, I guess? Of course he did. Haven't you been listening? It was not in the way you'd probably expect, though. Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now. I'm not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Yeah. Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed, too. Those could have just been gurgling noises. No, well, anyway. Finally, Krat has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Maybe Andor hit something sensitive on the way down, or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. You're kidding me. Everyone panics, and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly, and the Dimians never quite recovered. Changed the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? I hate you, old man. Well, now that's the ingratitude of you for you. I relate an exciting tale, and do I get thanked for it? No, no, it's all me, me, me. Uh, anyway, go on. My throat is dry, and you're making me cranky. Shoo! Okay, well, I was going to talk to that cell cat, but I'm all out of time for this video, so... In the next part, we'll talk to him, but I think we won't... We'll see if Julie has anything else to say. That's going to be it for me, guys. See you all in the next one.